Hi Pisces, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your monthly reading for July. I hope everybody out there is doing well. I do want to take a quick second, Pisces, to remind you that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with every Pisces out there. So take what resonates for you, simply leave the rest for someone else. Keep in mind the monthly readings are a bit predictive in nature. So if these events are not occurring right now, they could occur for you in the next few weeks. And as always, Pisces, please don't force yourself into a reading that's just not for you. Spirit, can I have the energy? What would you like Pisces to know for the month of July? Pisces. All right, Pisces, you are starting out with the Seven of Cups. You have options here. There could be some confusion around these options, though. Um, we do have the Nine of Pentacles. So this could be about finances. You could be trying to um, figure out something to do with your finances. Um, it also indicates that there is something to do with the independence here. Um, you may be showing up here as single, looking at the different options that you have. In the recent past, there was a, a contract that ended. Could have been a contract with a job. Could be with a relationship as well. Let's see why all this is happening. What's underlying this? Show me why all this is happening. Show me what's underlying this for Pisces. It's all happening because of the King of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, so there could be a lack of action. You could just be kind of reviewing everything, but some of you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, you could have recently become single, or you could be dealing with somebody that may be, um, <laughs> they may be a little bit, uh, how do I put this? Uh, they may play the field. They could be a little bit of a player, or you suspect that they are. Um, let me see what's on your mind. Show me what's on Pisces' mind. I do see some inaction, though, and it's because of confusion. Judgment in reverse. You don't want to make a bad judgment call in this situation. So this is why you're reviewing these options. Um, there could be a fear that you're going to uh, make a poor judgment call. There's somebody here, it looks like, in your energy that you've kind of lost some passion for. It would be whoever this ending has, has been with, whether it's in a job or whether it's with a person. Let me see what's coming for you in July. The Strength card in reverse. So this has to do with a need to work on things in your own life. It also has to do with fear. So I'm, I'm seeing a little bit of fear here, and that's what's creating this confusion, Pisces. Let me look and see how you're showing up. Show me how Pisces is showing up in this reading. All right, five of pentacles. So you could have had, it's in the reverse, so you could have had some losses here, either financially or you may have been dealing with somebody that did make you feel as if you were left out in the cold, rejected, abandoned. But you're showing up as kind of reclaiming, you know, whatever it is that you've lost here. Let's see the energy coming towards you in July. All right, so we have the Ten of Cups in the reverse. Be careful with this because whoever is coming towards you, there's some unhappiness. There's some emotional discontent in their energy. Let's look at Spirit's advice for you. Is the Queen of Swords in the reverse? It's having to do with cutting somebody out, um, a need for boundaries as well. Let's see your outcome. The High Priestess, beautiful. So this is leaning into your intuition, leaning into your intuition, moving, moving in silence, keeping things quiet. Um, there could be some sort of secretive energy that is here either from you or from somebody else. Now, at the bottom of the deck is the page of wands in the reverse. This indicates um, not communicating, a lack of communication. It may also indicate that there was some bad news here in the past um, that's underlying all of this. Um, you could have also, like I said, with this king of wands here, um, this person could kind of throw tantrums when they don't get their way. Um, 
I don't really like the King of Wands in reverse because it does indicate that there's somebody you may be dealing with. Um, it could be in your workplace who is kind of, um, they can be very charming when they want to be, but when things don't go the way they want, they become a little bit controlling, kind of mean-spirited. Um, and also be careful you're not dealing with somebody who does delve into some kind of darker um, magic or something of that nature. So let's clarify, Pisces. Why is the Seven of Cups here? The Magician in Reverse. Yeah. Um, be really careful. I don't... <laughs> the Magician in Reverse coming out here. You could have somebody here in your energy, Pisces, that's throwing in some sort of, you know, dark magic. Um, it's causing confusion. So it would be one of the options that you're dealing with. But it looks like it's past energy. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Now, I do see you becoming strongly independent, Pisces, which is good. Definitely working on your money and definitely leaning into your intuition. So follow your intuition here. Let's see why this Nine of Pentacles is here. Some of you have recently become single. Yeah, it took a lot for you to do this. And I do see you working on yourself, really making yourself independent, um, you could be putting aside any kind of codependent energy that you may have had in the past. Let's see. Yeah, you, you gave up hope on a situation here. So some of you, this is a job transition and you're dealing with somebody in your job, um, likely a manager or a um, somebody that is in control or in charge that it's just not really working out. And if this is personal... It's not working out because this person is emotionally immature. Um, be careful, though. Let's see why this King of Wands is here. So, somebody you're dealing with, I feel like you're having to be very cautious in how you approach them. Yeah, it's this King of Wands that is creating the... the and this is an option for you, whether it's work or personal. This is somebody who is creating, deliberately creating confusion. Um, they're nice one day, they're, they're kind of, you know, mean-spirited the next day. I do see you kind of being a little bit static in your energy here, not really taking, um, taking action on something because this person is deliberately creating this confusion. So it's kind of holding up your manifestations, and I do feel like it could cause you losses, so be careful. Um, why is judgment in reverse? You may, you may sense, we have the Knight of Swords in reverse. You may sense that somebody is not telling you the truth. You don't want to make a poor judgment call in the situation. So I do feel like you're holding back. Um, you're not telling somebody everything that's on your mind. I'm seeing that strongly. Let's look at July for you. Because I do feel like this is going to clear up. I feel like this, whatever this confusion is, is caused by this King of Wands here in reverse. And I do feel like you're going to get clarity on this situation. So let's see. Spirit, show me July for Pisces. Show me July for Pisces. All right, Ace of Pentacles. We have the Six of Swords in the reverse. The Page of Pentacles. Uh, Queen of Pentacles reversed. Knight of Pentacles, Page of Swords. And here's that King of Wands in the reverse again. Ace of Wands, Queen of Wands reversed, Seven of Swords, and the Five of Cups. All right, so what I'm seeing is that moving into the month of July, there's a situation here that you may be, it appears your energy is very humble here. I do feel like there's a need for you to really work on yourself. Don't lean into the fear. Um, you could be receiving a large sum of money in the first week of July, but or you're waiting for it, more likely. Um, there's something to do with a solid new beginning. So some of you could be moving to another job. 
um, with a you know increase in pay, um, or this could be a solid relationship that you're you're trying to move towards. However, something is blocking you. Something is kind of keeping you held up in this. And I do feel like you're going to receive good news about this, though. There's, you're going to get some kind of good news. There's some stuck energy here with regard to money or a solid relationship in the beginning of July. But you're going to get good news also by the end of the first week. Now, going into the second week... Um, you know, you're, there's a sense here, some of you are transitioning, you're switching jobs, you're changing. This change is going to happen very slow. Um, be careful with your money. And again, I'm seeing this need to nurture yourself, to work on self. Um, and I do see you doing that, but you're moving forward very slowly, whether this is money or relationship. And you're kind of looking, by the middle of the month, you're looking at this. Now, you could be dealing with somebody that's moving very slow as well. I do see you really doing your research by the middle of the month as to why this is moving so slowly. Um, and I do see you trying to figure everything out. There is communication that comes in both the first and the second week um, that's going to spark your interest in the first week. And you, that's when you begin to do this, you know, deeper dive into it with regard to this person, this King of Wands in the reverse, this person is showing up in the third week of July. Now this person could be coming towards you with more of a sexual energy. They're more of a player. It's, it's a sexual energy. And I don't feel like you're going for that. You're kind of figuring this person out. So for those of you that this is relationship oriented, I do feel like this person, this king of wands, is moving towards you in a very sexual way. This person looks to be a karmic. They don't look as if they are who they're presenting themselves to be. They're, they're a little bit, you know, they've got like two sides to them. So be careful. I do see a a new beginning here, or this could be a sexual, um, a sexual liaison that happens in the third week, but, or at least this, this King of Wands wants that. I don't feel like you're complying though. Uh, this person, I feel like you're kind of pulling back. You're realizing you find something out in the fourth week that you put a break on everything. Um, you're not, you're not moving towards this because there's a situation that you feel there's deception. So you start doing your research, whether this is personal or business related. Some of you are dealing with a really not, not reputable boss. And I do feel like you're doing a deep dive into it by the middle of the month. You're kind of digging into this, trying to figure this out. And there's something that either someone is going to tell you or you're going to discover on your own, that's going to give you the clarity that you need. In the fourth week, I see there's some sort of deception that causes you to put the brakes on this. Um, and it makes you a little bit sad. It makes you feel like, well, gosh, you know, where's the love? Where's the, where is the um, investment here? Um, I do feel like you are learning from this experience, but it's almost like you're, you're running into somebody that is disappointing you. They're moving towards you very slowly with any form of commitment and moving towards you very quickly with, you know, their wand as it, as it were. And I don't feel like you're, you're okay with this. You feel deceived by this person, um, or this situation, and I see you by the end of the month really looking at this. You've learned lessons from the past. This could be somebody returning to your energy or it could even be somebody new because you are showing up here very single and, and very strong, really working on yourself. So it's a matter of you figuring out what it is that you really want and can this person, whether it's business or whether this is personal, can they really provide that to you? I do see a little bit of you kind of looking at this and saying, you know, I, I just don't know. So you could also have somebody that's trying to involve you in some sort of entrepreneurial type of energy here, but it doesn't add up. There's something that's not adding up. You're discovering this. You're looking, taking a deep dive in, and you, you find something deceptive here by the end of the month that causes you to pull back, not take action, um, there's a sense of distrust here. 
and you're basing this on previous experience. Um, but I do be careful that it doesn't get you down, pull you down in your energy because you've worked so hard on yourself, Pisces. And I do feel like you have been really addressing what it is you really want in life. And I feel like there's a little bit of sadness that creeps in this energy of, you know, when am I going to find what it is that I want? So let's look at your energy here because I do think you're on the right path. Why is this five of pentacles here for Pisces? All right, so we have the king of cups and that's water sign energy. So you could be dealing with a Pisces, Scorpio or Cancer, but I feel like you are regaining um, everything that you have felt that you've lost in the past with this ending of this foundation. Now, what I'm seeing here is that you definitely do want love. You have feelings here for somebody. Um, you're de developing these feelings. Um, there is somebody, it looks like, that is approaching you from the past that um, you're kind of interested in again, but you're definitely looking to see, is this person going to really be giving me the attention or the uh, energy that I am desiring in love. Um, and I do see you being successful by the end of the month. It looks like you've done a lot of work on yourself. It looks like you are, you know, setting up boundaries and you, you kind of are figuring out this person as well. Let's look at the energy coming towards you. I do see you being very successful by the end of the month though. Or at least that's what you're you're moving towards. So whatever you feel that you have lost, um, you are regaining. Now, here we have judgment in reverse. This is what's on your mind. We have temperance in reverse, sign of Sagittarius. And we have this five of pentacles. So yeah, this is somebody from the past that is returning. This person is emotionally discontent though. They're not happy with themselves. This is somebody that feels rejected by you. I do feel that this is somebody that may have um, abandoned the connection at some point. They're definitely in need of healing because they're emotionally unbalanced. Um, it looks like it's this king of wands. So if this is work related, you may have somebody that's going to try to keep you back, keep you in a job. Um, but be careful because I don't feel like uh, I don't feel like this person has the best of intentions. Uh, there's something about this though that you're giving it a second thought. You're giving it. It's because you don't want to make a poor judgment call. Um, if this is a relationship, again, this person needs healing. Um, they're they're not coming to you in in the highest energy. So your fears here that this this is going to be a poor judgment call. This person is having the same kind of energy. Um, yeah, I definitely see it. I definitely see it. And they're very aware that these are feelings that you're having as well. Just know that this person, you know, that they have a tendency to walk away or abandon or leave you out in the cold. And that's concerning. I'm also seeing that it's because of their own emotional imbalance as well. Um, let me see Spirit's advice. Why is the Queen of Swords here in the reverse? Why is the Queen of Swords in the reverse? We have the Nine of Swords reversed. Four of Coins reversed. And the Three of Cups. So... Yeah, Spirit is saying that there is somebody coming back into your energy that may have cut you out or you may have cut out. Um, this person may have pretended that they didn't care or perhaps you were pretending, but you're both still engaged in each other's energy here. There's a need for you to keep your guard up, um, especially if you're considering a reconciliation with this person. Um, there's also an indication here that if you want to, you know, rid yourself of this anxiety and the, uh, that this person has caused in your life, because they are definitely holding on to your energy, that you do have to kind of keep your guard up. This is regarding a situation or a person that you're still kind of holding on to. 
Um, and I do feel that there's an indication here for you to, to date, to go out, to enjoy yourself, go to social events. Don't let the worry and anxiety um, overtake your life. This is what you need to cut out. You need to cut out this anxiety, this overthinking that's taking place. And it's regarding a situation, a job perhaps, or a person that you're really doing a lot of overthinking about. There's an indication for you to get yourself out there, be more social, go out with friends, um, date if that's what you want to do. But you need to be moving out in the world. Don't just pull your energy back and, and just wait and hold on to this energy. Um, I don't feel like this energy has the, your best interest at mind or in mind. And I feel like, you know, this is a karmic energy you're dealing with. Let me see your outcome because we do have the high priestess. I like that you're moving into that energy using your intuition. Um, it's going to be very strong. Your intuition is going to be very strong by the end of the month. And that's going to be extremely helpful for you. I also feel like you're kind of moving in silence here. All right. So we have, yeah, the emperor in reverse. This could be somebody that you, you felt was a twin flame or a very deep soulmate connection. And it looks as if um, there's some unfinished business between the two of you. There's definitely some unfinished business, but with the emperor in reverse, this is somebody who is very controlling. So this is someone who, you know, if it's a job position, they might, and it does look like for some of you this is, um, this person is very controlling and they're going to pull out all the stops in order to try to keep you engaged in this job or this situation. If this is a person, this could be somebody who is, not faithful. Uh, for some of you, this person could be involved with other people. Um, this is somebody who is just trying to control the situation. They could have some narcissistic traits. And there's just unfinished business between the two of you. However, that being said, I feel like you're leaning deep into your intuition. Um, you're realizing that perhaps you're not on the same page with this person. And I do feel like you're doing some deep dives into this situation and you're coming up with answers. I see you having the answers. These answers are going to come through your own intuition. Um, and I'm also seeing that it, it, this person is feeling burdened by that. I feel like you're going to, you're going to let this person know how you feel about the situation. Um, it's going to make them feel burdened. It's going to make them feel very heavy. Um, you're realizing that there's problems, that the longer that you keep this cycle open, the more problems are going to be present here. So I, I do think you're on the right track here, Pisces. I think you're doing well with this. You definitely have options and you've become very much independent. Um, I feel like your, your relationship with spirit is very strong. You're receiving messages and you're listening to them, which I think is really good. I do feel this King of Wands, whether this is in a work situation or whether this is within a relationship, is going to present some problems and you're realizing that. You're seeing that. Um, and I also feel like you're going to communicate that with this person. Bottom of the deck is the Devil in Reverse. Now, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, but this person... Um, is toxic and I feel like you're not having any of it. I think you're seeing two sides to this person. You're, you're understanding that this person has, you know, when they don't get what it is that they want, they kind of turn and they can turn in an in a instant and they can turn very negative. Um, they can be very rejecting, very cold. It's because they are literally very emotionally imbalanced. This person needs healing. Um, they're not happy with themselves and they may be projecting this off onto you. So be really careful in this situation. All right. So whoever is coming to mind, that's who you're, you're dealing with. This person has some narcissistic traits and I think you're realizing it. So let's see if there's any messages for you in the Oracle. I'm using my Foxfire deck. I really like this deck a lot. So let's see if we have any messages for you. There we go. 
Yeah, make a wish. Make a wish. You've done a lot of healing here, Pisces, and I feel like you you have so many options. This is number 25. Um, which condenses to seven. Seven is a, a God number, by the way. All right, it says, now is the time to stop all you are doing and take a moment to deeply, creatively, and fervently imagine what it is you would most like to bring to life within your world. And that's exactly what I see you doing. Um, dare to dream and to wish and to know what it is you want. For if you do not define it with yourself, dear one, you can be sure that you will be as a leaf in the stream and you will be taken in the direction and towards the outcomes that others decide for you. Now is the time to take your own destiny back into your own hands and make a wish. Just as you did when you believed, when you were a child, before the world of adults and their jaded practicality made you shrink into yourself, only asking for a little, in order to avoid disappointment. This dragon friend of the Kitsune has opened the gates for you now, friend, and in this moment, this dragon invites you to make a wish and to be daring in your wish, to go back into the true heart of yourself and peel back the layers until you find the dream that your most authentic self has kept alive for you and bring it forth now. Do not diminish yourself, dear one, for there are thousands of others in the world who will line up to stunt your passions. Be your own hero. Stand beside yourself and make a wish. Now in this moment, for this cosmic gateway will not stay open forever. And be, dear one, as the grail, turned upwards, ready to receive. For even the most holy of vessels cannot hold blessings unless it is upright. Be receptive and believe in your own good fortune and this moment of blessing and do not delay in sending your wish forth into the golden heart of the great and mysterious universe who in this very moment is allied with your energy. So you guys, Pisces, you really have the world at your hands. Um, and I feel like whoever this King of Wands is realizes this and they are not wanting you to move into that. But you are really allied with the universe. You've done the work on yourself here. And I do feel like somebody is trying to kind of hold you back. Don't allow that. Know what it is that you want. Cut anything out of your life that does not meet that. Um, because the universe is waiting to give you what it is you do want. All right. I hope this has been helpful for you, Pisces. If you've resonated with this, hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe. And until I see you in your next reading, namaste.